yesterday was uh, another extraordinary day for the Andrew Green Foundation. Um, this was the opening of our branch in Akin, in, in, on, down on the south coast. We started out by um, going to the church where the, the priest held a quite beautiful mass. We went back to the Funkasi branch and it was just a classic Haitian scene where it is so filled with vivacity and life and you see it just boiling over on the stage because they had skits. It's skits where women portrayed the evil banker or the unconcerned citizen with the potential client of Funkosi trying to seek a way to buy her cow or to buy some chickens or to create some subsistence business for her family. And um, as you can see in the skits, they, the, the, uh, the evil person is totally uncaring and waves them away. And then eventually the hero of the plot finds Van Cose. And it's just, it's, it's carried with such, oh, a combination of sincerity and humor. And the crowd gets so involved and you just see immediately where this is going. You see where the kind of role that Van Cose is playing in that community and how that community is going to support this enterprise. It's really something special. You know, when we set the foundation up in, in January 2010, uh, there, were, there, were, there were two platforms, education and microfinance. We chose both of those because more broadly the aims of uh, the Andrew Green Foundation are to be involved in things that have a transformational difference to people's lives where we can come in. We're not, we're not into relief aid. There are lots of organizations that do that extremely well. We want to be involved in activities that have a real possibility of, of permanently improving people's lives. Uh, education obviously can, and we firmly believe that, that microfinance implemented properly also can. Um, what makes Foncose special is they deal specifically with the poorest of the poor. They, they really enable people to make the first step of surviving and then the next step of establishing something more than that to actually become in some way independent, in some way be able to be self-sufficient and, and uh, continue to, to support the family and themselves. You know, the women that, that we meet through Foncose, they're, they're always an inspiration here. People who have had uh, probably no education of any sort, they are the poorest of the poor. We were talking to this one client, Foncose, uh, in Akin, and we asked her what her dream was, and she said her dream was to continue to be alive five years from now. In Foncose, they have some, some programs that they're developing specifically to to take the, the smaller businesses and turn them into the type of enterprises that uh, can employ people and sustain people. Um, and it's, it's fantastic to hear what can be done with tiny loans. Um, these businesses, they're not straightforward, they struggle like all businesses, they're, they're, they're complicated and they, they need nurturing. Um, but the fact that the, these, these, these loans enable businesses, enable these women to have a more secure um, prospect to, to, to be able to go to the market buy in a little more bulk, come back, um, is, uh, yes, it's always inspirational to listen to those ladies.